Welcome to the Built to Last video series. I'm Sarah and I'll be your host as we travel around the country to meet with some of the world's most innovative manufacturers. We're touring shop floors and getting up close with massive machinery. And it's all in an effort to show how products you use every day truly are built to last. Today we've traveled to Lexington, Kentucky and we're visiting Aventix. They're one of the world's leading manufacturers of pneumatic products. So let's go see what they're all about. So we're here with Rudy Coetzee, and he is the president of Aventix Americas. And Rudy, just talk to me a little about what you guys do here at Aventix. Here at Aventix, uh, we focus on pneumatics. So we manufacture everything from valves and actuators that control the flow of air, which essentially control motion of, of parts. And what are the products that you guys are best known for? We are known for our high quality valves, uh, our proportional valves, and also our cylinders. What kind of makes those products or, or the way that you guys do business different than your competitors? We like to embrace a philosophy of the answer is yes, what's the question? And really what we try to do with our customers is to provide a personal touch. That they know who they're speaking to, that they have face-to-face -face interactions, not just with our salespeople, but our engineers, our design engineers, our product managers, our technical people. How are you guys easy to do business with? We probably have the uh, industry's top tools in terms of where customers and engineers can go on and modify and configure a product exactly the way they want. It allows engineers to get different outputs in terms of what they want the properties of the cylinder to be. What are we going to be seeing when we take a tour of that facility? Yeah, so we are very proud of our manufacturing site here. So I think you're in for a nice surprise to see actually how much goes into making an NFPA cylinder. We are here now with Fred Goodman, and Fred has been with Aventix for 42 years and knows the place inside and out. He's going to give us a tour of the shop floor, so let's get on the safety goggles and let's go. Sure. Tell me what would this actually be used for? A lot of cylinders are used um, in automated sawmill equipment, in automated factories, concrete plants tile plants where they make the ceramic tiles, the roof tiles. Talk me through what, what, we, what you're holding and, and what happens at this station. Okay. This piston rod comes up here, it gets ran across our CNC machine that's behind us, and it will do the piston in, which is where our piston will go on to, and it does the customer in, which is what our customer will screw something into. If I can get online, and I can create the part to meet my specifications and you'll make one and just send it to me. One cylinder. And the average lot size for us here is one piece. We can go in and configure a part number. With the Kadena software, we can draw that cylinder and, and send it to the customer and show him what he's gonna do. If he can place the order immediately and he's really broke down, we can have that cylinder out the same day. Okay, so I'm becoming part of the process now Absolutely. by holding these. So tell me what I'm holding and what are these things still? These are the tie rods for the cylinder. And each corner of the cylinder has a tie rod and there will be a nut that goes on here and this will screw into the front. But this is what actually holds the cylinder together. But these pieces can change the size, the length, based on right. what the customer upon the stroke needs. Of the cylinder, yeah. right. okay. this, is, this is actually a very stroke, short stroke cylinder. It's actually probably only about two inches of stroke. But we have one that's going through our shop right now that's 220 inches of stroke. So these stretch and get shorter. So we have a finished product. This area is what's going to go to our customer. It's been painted, it's, it's been assembled, it's been tested on our test racks. It's going to go out to our customer, he's going to put it on his machine, and it's going to go right away. So on the shop floor, we saw the final product, and now we're going to see these products in action. So Fred, talk me through what we're looking at here. This is a simulation of a cylinder in a, a paper mill. So this actually will keep the proper amount of tension on that paper so that it doesn't run away and it doesn't get caught. Which is a delicate balance when we're talking about paper. In today's world, you could actually go in, configure the cylinder, use the Kadena software to draw the cylinder place your order via EDI or on our Smart Shop program. You could receive the order and then pay for the order 
all electronically without ever having to, to create a manual piece of paper. No one likes manual pieces of paper anymore, Fred. Paper's not attractive. <laughs> not unless it has presidents on it. Right. <laughs> then, yeah, then we all like it. That's it. Thanks for hanging out with us today. To learn more about Eventix, visit eventix.com. To learn more about how your company can improve its digital experience, check out partsolutions.com. And don't forget to check back here for more Built to Last videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you.